Hey you guys, welcome back to Neo. We are halfway through the first mission, and I think we're going at a pretty good pace right now. Pretty quick pace, that's for sure. Because I'm skipping a lot of enemies, a lot of loot. Most of it that I've found pretty useless in the past. So I hope I don't regret that by missing out on some good loot. And this guy, I should probably kill, because if I kill him, he won't respawn later. Wow, that was close. Okay. Please break his horns. Ah, I'm dead. Let's also not lose all that Amrita, so now I have to run past him real quick. Like this. But then that guy will get aggroed, so now I have to like die over here to make sure my uh, Amrita is in a safe spot. I have every enemy in the damn world chasing me now. Luckily I do a lot of damage to this guy. Yeah, I kind of knew that would happen. And my battery is low. Crap. And now I actually have to hurry, because if I have to charge my controller, I need, like, it's wired, of course. So I have to, like, go over to my PS4, which is way over there, and charge it, which isn't possible. So now we're on a time constraint, which is a little stressful, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I broke his horns. That is so useful. Oh, yeah, actually, he didn't. He just ran out of stamina. And now we're dead. Alright, I hate high stance now. I used that primarily in my first playthrough, so I don't know what changed since now and then. Maybe eventually my key just got so high it didn't even matter anymore. But since now I'm like starting over again, my key is like super low, so I actually have to watch it now. That's probably actually what happened. Also, I'm going to tell you right now, these little guys that like crouch and stay low to the ground... The worst enemies in the game. These guys are nothing compared to those little guys. Because they'll just like... what? How... Is he, is he running out of stamina? I mean, I won't complain, but... What the heck? Oh, that time I broke his horn. Okay, whatever. He's dead. Doesn't even matter. I got another axe, but it's not as good as my other one. So these guys in the black armor, these are the guys that will most often drop elixirs. And, like, same with the skeletons that are basically their counterparts. Like, these big brute enemies, pretty much. And I don't know why, but that's just how it works. So this is definitely going to be a speedrun part of this level, because I hate this part. There's so many ladders and, like, hidden chests and stuff with, like, nothing in them. And also, if I do remember, there's a little guy right here. Yeah, there is. Go back home, little buddy. So we have to run through this guy. I'm not going to fight him, even though I said I would take them all out. I, I lied. I remember just how many there are, because there's another one like right around the corner, too. And then what you can do here, there's two shortcuts you can do. And I'm sure if you guys have played this, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe not, actually, because one of them is actually pretty sneaky. Oh, it's back here. Oh, crizzity crap. I don't know where. Alright, never mind, I guess. Now all the enemies in the whole world are after me. That sucks. Salt and salt. Thank you. That's actually kind of useful. I'm probably going to equip that. Now there's this guy. Fairly easy to run around. Oh my god, I don't... There's too many enemies. Oh, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. So once you're here, just run right. Go straight for the shortcut. And this is actually... You can always just go back and explore everything later. I would just say run through the level first and find all the shortcuts. And then be all careful and explore everything if you want to do that. It's just smarter that way. Alright, I'm a little scared. My guy is very heavy. Probably going to waste a lot of his key. Let's head down here. Maybe we'll get enough uh, Amrita from this dude right here to uh, buy one more so we can equip that light armor helmet. Break apart that cloud. Holy cow, I don't know how I dodged out of the way of that one. Look how slow my uh, key regenerates. That sucks. That's the price you pay for good defense. So then hopefully this guy won't one-shot me anymore. Like that. Luckily, this guy is literally right next to the shrine. You just drop down, try again. Grab your stuff. 
Oh, there we go. Got it first try now. And the bad thing about those clouds, too, is uh, they, reg they regain their key, and you lose yours. So that's why it's so bad, and you gotta get rid of that right away. He got me with the delayed swing again. I don't even know what that was. That was a fast charge that came out of nowhere. Maybe I should... Hang on, I'm gonna use this salt to my advantage now. Because this is exactly what you'd use it for. Basically, it destroys the key of these guys. And apparently it also dispels the cloud, because I didn't even know it did that until just then. Oh my god, don't be an idiot. There we go. You're out of stamina, stop. And basically all that does too is when they're out, is uh, you can just swing. Crap! No! I just wasted two salts, and then I died. I'm starting to regret ever coming down here to fight this guy, because this is just insane. No more heavy armor, because the key regeneration is so bad, it's torturous. Alright, I chose the lightest armor possible, and we're mid-stancing. So our key regenerates super fast. Will this make the difference? I don't know. I could have just opened up a whole new gameplay style for me, instead of being a tank. Because, I mean, man, my key regenerates insanely quick. And I love that so far. I think I actually just opened new doors for my character. That's pretty cool. Like, that doesn't even do that much damage, let's be honest. There goes that cloud. He's also behaving pretty well. Like, he's not being too obnoxious. And he's dead. Alright, well, I'm loving this build now. Maybe the boss will be that much easier now that I can dodge a lot faster. I got a bunch of plate mail armor, medium. So I think that could be good if I went medium instead of all light. That could be uh, beneficial. Foot soldier armor. The whole beach is going to attack me, of course, but that's fine. They all suck. Oh my god, right in front of my face. Just shoot an arrow into it. Thanks, man. Alright, let's go ahead and fight the boss. Hopefully we can kill him quickly, because my batteries are going to die soon. So this guy is all about effective dodging. And I can't wait to see how badly I mess up this boss. So, what I learned myself, I never could use a strategy guide, I never found any of them that useful. Is that, well, okay, that was a horrible example. But usually, if you dodge towards the chain when he whips it towards you, you can go right through the chain. As long as you don't hit the ball, you're good. I mean, you can either do that, or you can just back all the way off and uh, when he's swinging at you. And that's probably the more effective strategy. Look how fast I run, damn. So I'm going to try backing off. I'll try everything. It's fine. I'm actually feeling pretty confident now. Because of how fast I am. I didn't realize you could be this fast in this game. I guess I've only been a tank. This is way more effective and fun. <laughs> this opened up a whole new window for me. Oh, already we broke his horns. And he lost his balls already. Okay, that sounded weird. How the heck? I was going to say, I haven't even gotten hit yet. So yeah, basically, there's two stages to this fight. Uh, the first one where he has the balls on a chain. And the second one where he just like throws them at you when they're on the ground. And uh, the second one is so much easier than the first stage, I'll admit. I can't believe I'm shredding this boss to pieces. I had so much trouble. And by the way, when I say my first playthrough, that only happened like a week ago. I got this game like a week ago. So that's why I'm so impressed with the change in like how good I'm doing. Unusual armor. And a foot, a legendary uh, or a unique foot soldier spear. Cool. Well, that was the first real level besides the tutorial. I had so much fun 
playing through that again. I can't wait to see how the next boss has changed for me now that I'm doing like a light build. So that just goes to show you, if there's a lesson to be learned from this episode, if you're comfortable being a tank, why don't you change up your build a little and try another build, because chances are you might like it. Thank you guys for watching this whole episode. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please share it on social media or with your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.